Listen, if you want to see the full version of this interview without waiting until part 75, <laughs> hit the join button right next to the subscribe button and become a VIP member for just $2.99 a month. While you're at it, turn the red subscribe button gray and hit the notification bell. All right, now VIPs, enjoy the clip. <laughs> I know you was there when YG started, you know, from the beginning. So talk about how and why it started. Alright. This is like 2002, 2003. Yeah. And it's, it's so crazy because, like, see how it turned out to? I was never that. When it turned into whatever it turned into, I was already gone. Like, that. we probably get into that as far as the 90s. Yeah. Like, I was in juvenile when I used to come home on home passes. Like, we used to network, like, you know, meet people in jail or meet people with the key or whatever. And then we build relationships with certain people from certain blocks. So we already knew people. Like, we, everybody knew who the headers was on that side, headers was over there. So if that was the case, like, it started basically from a whole nother situation. Like, it was some shit back in the days called Bronx Gunslang, DGS. Now yeah. I'm from Cortland. Now, DGS was like the first thing that was established, but it wasn't blood. So it was like, I, right, even though we was on some fake blood shit, I heard that shit wasn't like, recipe she me while DI is by, but that shit wasn't real, right? Like, it wasn't never a sanction. Like, we was running around doing all this little day room shit, and that shit was never real. You feel me? We learned that later. When we went to jail, and we was around the real, you understand? Like, in the beginning, it was just big on that. Like, I, right, being blood is just the grainy, uh, 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 we already seen that part. Bones, gun slingers. They on time, but we can't be that because. That's another block. It's like, we know Jack, a gang that started on another block. It's like, nah, I can't be that. But I fuck with y'all. We fuck with y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. But we, wasn't, we couldn't, we couldn't jack it. We couldn't, you know what I'm saying? We couldn't jack it. Damn, they about to call the fucking y'all, man. Fuck, yo. Damn. All right, hold on. Let's finish this. Look, what? we couldn't jack it. I, I wasn't with that. I wasn't with that. Yeah. So, I would come home on whole passes, so I... And it'd just be different situations. I'd be on court when this time, and something happen over here, then we go over here, and something happen over here. But it's not intentionally, it's just how shit keeps happening. So it's like, well, y'all little niggas, hey, where y'all niggas go, man, y'all young gunners. Yeah. It was cute. It was just, somebody said it, my right, cool. We ain't never paid no mind. But now I come to the point where it's like, I right, Harlem had L&W. We went to Harlem. These niggas screaming they shit, ah, ah, it's like, hold on, we from Brooks, these niggas know us, ah, we gonna come up with our own shit. That's how it started, but it still wasn't safe, and then we were like, you know what I'm saying, we was just still running around. It really, it really went viral when niggas went to jail, like, niggas went to jail, that's when shit started picking mm. up, because we wasn't, DYG. It was like, we was in, we was going against blood, in a way. Yeah. You understand? Because, like, everybody go to jail turn blood. We in there, but we ain't jacking that. We can't, because we was jacking some fake shit. <laughs> 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 they already told us that shit wasn't right, but they trying to say that ain't right, but you could come over here and have this. Nah, nigga, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, after a while, they end up finessing us, though. They end up getting us over there. But they like, nah, y'all keep, y'all shit, keep doing what y'all doing. Just, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, alright. Yeah. yeah, that's how it started. Basically, we was like a scapegoat for niggas that ain't going to be that. Or niggas that just ain't still like the old press. Like, they was trying to be old press. Back in the day, they ain't think blood, old press, old press, old press. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm going against that. Oh. I interviewed Paparazzi Poe recently, and he said... He's a fraud. Hold on, let me... Really, Harvey's a fraud. Listen to me. Hold on, we're going to... Now, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. get this out the way. <laughs> okay. No, get this out the way. You can verify it yourself. His father is a crackhead from Jefferson Projects, man. <laughs> um. I was on the road with this kid, man. He wore my clothes. I know him. <laughs> I know I love his balls, man. Like... 
I don't know where he came from with that, you know? Okay, like, okay. one day, he woke up and said, yo, I'm Young Poe. Like, then when we went to jail, we started hearing stories about Al Poe. It's like, yo, bro, what are you doing, bro? Yeah. Yo, I'm just from death. Like, you understand? Like, yeah. Well. Wait, wait, okay, okay. Dude, let me. They, they, they calling it, they calling it right now. I got afternoon rep, so I'm going to call tomorrow, probably like 2.30, 1, two. 1. 132330 in you understand? So that separated us from that. If anybody asked what we was about, it was three things. I was getting money, staying fly, fucking other niggas' bitches. Everything else, like, I just came with certain shit being outside. You know I me? Mean? Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. We, for being in jail, we kind of knew certain people from other sides. So we already had ties to the other side, like, web. Recipes, Blink, Blau, Young Person, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? That's where Poe came from. That was Red Man, he was from Wab. You mm. know what I'm saying? But like, it started off like every hood that was around us, it was only two people from every hood. And it was just like, literally 15, 17 niggas, like, that's what I was a part of. Yeah. Then we all went to jail. Yeah. That's what it's Gotcha. Gotcha. You know, um, when I was saying, uh, and, and, and Poe said that too, he, I think he said you want, you said something along the lines of you wanted it to kind of just be y'all. You didn't want to add nobody or was that true? Or? I, I basically, like I said, it was like two people from every side. And gotcha. it's so crazy because they like, everybody's top five and shit like that. Like I wasn't a part of that. You understand? I wasn't, I, was, I told you I was in a juvenile, so we would be come out, get home passes, we come home, and it's still on the record, like, my man died, like, on the home pass, you feel me? Up the block, shit, court, and shit. It wasn't none of the niggas that we grew up to fuck with, but it happened over there, so definitely not gonna turn no gang that started over there, you feel me? Like, yeah. But we fuck with people from over there, so it's like, like the first five people that I would say, like that was YG, it was, it was Two Flate, Recipe Nifi, Perez, June Tao, and Trav. Like nobody ever knows these people, but you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> whoa, but then it'd be me, Freaky Brown, Young Jeff. Johnny Five, but it was like you wanna know nobody. Like only names start sticking out when we went to jail. Mm. Feel me? That's when everybody start knowing our ties with Wag, Young Prince. Feel me? We go to Wagner, Recipes Twist. Yeah. Feel me? Then yeah. up the block it was Gunna and Banco. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Like it wasn't that many people. If if something was going on, it was one of those names. Then when we went to jail, it was like, all right, these niggas is from the Bronx, but we wasn't really jacking the Bronx. We was just on some shit where we fuck with everybody that's on time, bro. Yeah. Yeah. See, uh, see the, the, the way we hear it is that the top five was you, uh, Mighty, Drew Hef, Poe, and yeah. Two Fly. See, that's, that's, that's Brown, that's Perez, dope. Mm, okay. That, that's Brown. That's Perez. Who else you said? You said Poe? Poe, Drew Hef, Mighty, Two Fly, and you. I don't know. They say Young Neef, man. Young Neef was Perez, like, right here, man. If it was me and Tay, then it had to be half of Perez. Like, for me, like, mm. half this, man, I'm tripping. It had to be Neef and Perez, you feel me? Yeah. Got you. Oh, uh, but... It was two people from A side. So if Brisson F was before him. We have no shit, like, 
I don't want to get it wrong. Like, I got some animosity towards them. Like, I have feelings for Pope. It's just, you, like, I'm, I'm living this life. I can't condone that nigga lying about some shit like that. You understand? Like, you, I know you, brother. Like, so it, shit like that. That's what fucked it up. Like, mm. it be fake shit. Basically, I, somebody named Freeman, Oz, he had did that in 05. Pose just living with that nigga. Mm. They ain't gonna put his T dub up. Nigga get locked up for some other shit. Nigga, you knew that in 05, bro. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. It should be crazy. You you talking about uh that I think he just put somebody's paperwork out like a couple of days ago or something like yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, oh. and I heard about it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, all right, why you ain't do that when you came home? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just now, living with that nigga, like, last time I heard about him, they like, yo, posing already living with us. And it's like, that nigga locked up for some other shit. And then you gonna put the T-Dub? What's going on, brother? Come on, man. We too old for that type of shit. Yeah. Got you. Got you. You know, um, getting get off that, you know, people was asking, is that, like, was that a why or a bunny that y'all was, like, kind of throwing up? No lying ass. Paul Lionel came up with some Playboy shit. <laughs> Cause the old bitch I said that, like, y'all always run around throwing up Playboy bunnies. What's that? And then there was just some shit. Paul was like, oh yeah, let's do this. And it's like, yo, get the fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> whoa, whoa, that's all right. We, we get it now. No, I'm like, no, saying that. Everybody think gravy shit when you speak with no, nah, no. But we gonna fix that in a minute. Okay. Got you, got you. <laughs> um, and, and he also said that the reason everybody came together was because of one common enemy, Bogus Brim. That's a lie. She posted that because he was that was red man. That's how he got his name. Every time I post up with the bitches, you know, Paul always find a way to finesse the bitch. He finesse one of the bold blow bitches, whatever. And bogus be chasing him. That's why he's called Red Man. But he's from where? Until he knew. Bo, we had beef with Bo too. Don't get it twisted. We had beef. My mom had beef with Bo. But long story short, somebody did bad in the situation. I can't be beef with no nigga after a nigga did bad. You know what I'm saying? We done went to jail. Met certain thing, things happened. We got past that. I was good with Bo before he died. You feel me? But... It ain't start cause of him. Him and Perez are scared of that nigga. One time Bo pulled Perez over. <laughs> like the police. Like, nigga, pull this shit over. <laughs> 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 I swear to God, where my son? I am like, nigga, out the car, hands on the car, you know, like, he was the police, bro. I'm like, bro. Now, he did say that, though. First He's, time. He, he did that, say that. First time I ever met Perez. Well, that's the first time I ever met Perez. That incident right there happened right on rap. Uh, and, and when you say Perez, you talking Jutta, right? Yeah. Got you, got you. Just for the people that that don't know, you know, um, they they had a lot of right. questions. You know, they asked why why was the color green? Um, um, yeah, like the money, mm. the money. It was really the money flag, but we couldn't take that. It belonged somewhere, but we had to go with green. Oh. Yeah, got you. You know, when I read up on y'all, I can't lie. Like I, I did, I did a lot of research. Y'all all seem to be so tough, and and like you said before, grimy always comes with that the the, the YG, the Nano, and all that. What made y'all the environment? Mm. The environment, the words grimy, man. We just adapt to the situation. Yeah, got you. And and, and what made y'all like kind of take 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 under, like basically allow Drew to the lead? What? Why was he given that that right? It's a lot. It's a lot. I somebody we all love. Uh, we all have friends for that nigga. He was older than us. Mm. So we was real local skanky niggas. You know what I'm saying? We was beef with every black around us, though. But we start fucking with him. Homeboy is pops. That's, the, that's big, bro, man. Homeboy. I love homeboy. Like, he had this stretch. Boy, he killed somebody, he went to jail, he came home, and his mom would just take care of his son. So everything we got into, his son got into, so he got into. 
for me, and we was always studying at the end of the day, like, gotcha. we smoke, man, you know what I'm saying? It's like, now, like, Perez had three whips when I was 15, uh, wow. so, we, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was different, we was moving. Got you, got you. So now, now I, I know at some point tension arises, and and you you and the guys kind of create like your own thing, and and you created ten ninety YG, right? Right. Got right. you. See what I'm saying? Again, it's like I right. everybody know everybody that did bad oh five. Okay. Right? So when I come home in oh seven, it's like. I can't deal with these niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't deal with these niggas, but these niggas is still dealing with this nigga. Like, this nigga going to see niggas in jail, like, literally, like, you know understand? And it's like, yo, I ain't do it. Nobody went to trial, so nobody took the stand. But we got the teeth up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mama got it, nigga. We was holding it down. They got whack, right? Because everybody still dealing with them. And when I first came home, this is how I'm going to say how I start back. I'm going to let you know how I started. Relationship started over. So me like, I came home. I ran into some money. I got a lawsuit. I was like, Nisi, that's bro. Like, bro, we spent 20K first day. Like, that's bro. That's me. So it's like, yo, bro, I ain't going to do nothing at all. But I just can't be in no cars with them. I'm not standing on no corners with them. None of that, bro. They still dealing with them. I don't care, you know, like, boom. Now I'm in the low, like, young just area. Now this TA old dog, young boy, like, these are the babies, but it's beautiful in the low. Like, whoa, well, I had a baby over there. Okay. But he got kids over there, too. His baby moms are over there, too. So it's like, kids is there. He come. It's like, I ain't gonna tell him that he can't be around the kids, but it got to a point where it got there, like, no, bro, stop coming over there. You understand? Like, in and out, like, you know what I'm saying? Got there to a point where the nigga was in the barbershop one time, it was a scene, they ain't never came back. But if niggas would go somewhere, like, you can't like, anyway, it's trying to be around, bro. And it's like, yo, y'all niggas keep doing this. Long story short, something happened. I almost got clipped. Well, this was a car situation. I was in the car, almost got clipped in the car. And then I, I was in the back of the hospital. So after the situation, I'm just walking through the hospital, you know, like trying to get back wherever I was going, you know what I'm saying? Like reality, something didn't yeah. happen. I didn't expect to happen. You know? I was like, all right. Can, can I say, can I? Emotional moment. Yeah. I walked out. His mom's work in the hospital. The person that told you know me. So when I, yeah, Perez. So when I woke out, you know what I'm saying? I love his mom. She did for my son. Like, like, she worked there. So I woke out the hospital. He did. Wait, hold up. Are you saying Perez told? Right. That's what I'm saying. This how the, our relationship, like, rekindled. You know what I'm saying? Like, after everybody knew what we knew in 05. Yeah. This how, this how... That happened. Like, his mom's working in the hospital. I almost got clipped in the back of the hospital. Come out the hospital. I see the nigga. And it's like, he already knew. Because word, I, I, niggas heard his son. It's like, yo, that was, yo, the nigga hugged me. Whoa. Whoa, we went back to Rack. He drove me to Rack. He was calling in the front. He drove to Rack. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, Charlie, my bad, my bad. Just to... Are you saying, I, I want to get this clear. Are you saying Jutha Ch- told or somebody else told? We we know we know Perez did that. We know that. Oh, man. That's news to me. Wow. No, this is all I'm trying to tell you. We knew that in 05. Wow. We knew that in 05. So it's like when I come home in 07, this is how this is rekindled. I mean, to the point where I'm telling nigga, I don't feel comfortable you around. I right, go to see your kids, go see your kids, and that's it. Like, seen them in the barbershop, in a little fake situation. Not happening, but it's like, I don't want you over it. If I'm over it, keep you over it. That was that. Okay, okay. So that's when and you... the situation happened, I almost, whatever, you know what I'm saying? 
I'm walking to the hospital. I, I bumped by then, so. Yeah. And then it's like, everybody knows what's going on. Oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Mama in the picture. <laughs> oh, like. Wow. It was like, fuck it. I ain't gonna do nothing with this nigga, but I ain't gonna do nothing to this nigga, you feel me? Like, yeah, gotcha. It's like, you know, when, when somebody do bad, those be the most dangerous niggas. Because they got the ultimate point to prove. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's like, anytime, anything, call, I'm coming right now. Where you at? You like, understand? Like, whoa. Got you. Got you. So, damn, I, I'm shocked. I ain't even know that. I, I think, I'm shocked, bro. But, um, okay, so that happens, and then that's why you do 1090. Right? Um No. Like I all that all that played the part in it. All that with my older niggas that car situation broke my heart. What, like can can I that really should, Can I ask I you a question? Hurt. Can I ask you a question? Um, and, and you ain't gotta like um say who or whatever, but are you saying people shot at you, you was in the car? And that shit broke your heart? I had a situation with an older person from outside of the town God. that I grew up under, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, when I came home, I ain't come home to be in the streets, you know? I came home, I had some money coming, you know what I'm saying? I ain't think about buying some games or nothing, you all. Know? Yeah, got you. Got you, but okay. You know, life happens. Niggas go scared. Niggas start going back to what they know. Yeah. Not saying last long. Like I was only home for like nine months. Yeah. Bro, I was yeah. only home for like nine months. Damn. I said, he said it, it, it was a different time. But what made that ha what made what made the nine months happen? It was like I come home after all everything we was going through, and then everything we been through. I don't gotta talk about that shit. Niggas talk about it better than me, but. After I come home from them, it's like 15, 17 niggas that I knew that, like, you know what I'm saying? I was, I knew, like, I, numbers was in my phone to, I'm coming home, I go to this side, and these niggas got, whatever, they tell them something with a T, it's alphabet gangs with a T out of the end, like, yeah. I'm like, where are you the big word? Like, you the big word? And they like, who did that? Perez. Oh, that's a dub. <laughs> that's a dub. What? Yeah, crazy. But what really made it crazier? What made it crazier, right? And I had to go see him. Like, you ever speak to Tay? I don't know if you spoke to him. I'll tell. I'll tell. I'm, I'll holler. See if he holler at you. But yeah. anyway, Tay. Tay, crazy man. <laughs> <laughs> I love mama's son, man, but he crazy, man, but... <laughs> Alright, Tay, Tay is too fly, so... Anybody say too fly is Tay. How can I say Tay too fly is a dog? They gotta go somewhere else because there's too many niggas jacking that. Mm. Yeah, you you basic you basically saying how was he he can't have that right to say that about him? The nigga in jail, and he told the Perez told Lord Tay. Oh, oh wow, okay. You know what I'm saying? This nigga locked up. This is shit you got there, and then you gonna say, yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, wow. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I went to see him. Oh, me and Jay Moore, gangster, you went to see Tay, like, yo, bro, you okay? We having this weird shit. I should say, bro, I'm about to just go with my Grammy shit. Yeah. Whoa, they always called us the Grammy side, they call us the Bronx. When you think of the Bronx, you a Harlem nigga, Brooklyn, you think of us. That's our side, over there. Wherever you come to, you got to cross our side. Yeah. Boom. So that's when you did that's that. That's where 1090 comes from. Got you. Got you. So it's 1090 Yeah. It was still love, though. It was still love. That's when everybody else started coming around. Yeah. Got you. Why did you choose 
that that name that 1090 like what i i heard that it came from like gkb which was like created within the blood they they, they was basically that's, that's an old grimy 1090 grimy shit right yeah that's how i was feeling mm, so it did come from g g shan of course got you i was never signed i was, i love polo and John, everybody else over there, but I never, I wasn't that just like that, like, either way, all the niggas looked at me like the Ola out of the anyway, like, even when I wasn't real right, I was still with some fixed shit, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, we ain't gonna play no disrespect, bro. Yeah, yeah, so did they, like, did they, um, like, when, when you decided to take that name, like, the g Sean niggas, did, did they, like, were they cool with it, or they was like, Honestly, honestly, I don't think no Ola ever liked the G's, so hell no. Mm. I know any one of them I cross paths with, like my son passed on here right now, that's my baby. Bro, like, you understand? I got relationships with nigga, I'm not nigga 10 years, bro. Yeah. Well, so you basically, um, so you basically saying they wasn't jacking you using that, or they were? We wasn't right. Like I told you when we went to jail, we wasn't right. Gotcha. Well, so it's like we tough and we doing all the shit they hear about as far as the G's, but as far as that, we wasn't right. So they were trying to like serve people. That's why we ended up doing sound. We ended up going over there. We were jacking sound each homicide. That's how I got faded. It wasn't our fault though. Okay. That was some. They got fed because the older nigga, that's when I was like, I right, over for that. Gotcha. We ain't going to that no more. Feel me? Yeah. Straight now, I know. Yeah. Okay, okay. Why was it, you know, everybody asks, why was it 10% loyal, 90% grimy? When I hear that. That's a lie. That's a lie. Oh, talk to me now. What, what, what that meant? That's a lie. Like, real shit. Like, tonight to get it fucked up too, because. You got the toes and things like that and run around and they jack out old. But tonight it was really safe, me and safe, because it was me and Briss at first, but then Briss turned back. Okay. And it was like, that's a whole nother story, but Mac broke my heart. I could never be that. Yeah. So, like, I vowed that as a kid. Oh, but when he did that, it was just me and Shave. Okay. That me and Shave, Shave get locked up for a gun. Oakland, Marhaven, he's gonna see his day moms though. He not know he going over there, he gotta be sick, he, he get knocked. I'm telling him, he don't gotta feel like that, you feel me, I'm home. I bring she Flicky over there. She Flicky is, is, that was a big, this is fucking be out here. That shit violent. <laughs> Why the mother? Oh lord, you know how? Oh lord, you tripping? <laughs> like a loser for the fuck. Hey yo. <laughs> All right, so so I I told you I had ran into some money. I got a settlement. Yeah. Licky, skinny, lanky, super dog skin. He triple dog skin. Mm hmm. He woke in my crib, bro. My grandmother don't say nothing to that man, you all. Because he, cause he dark skin. <laughs> racist shit. It's just, I don't know what he did, but that's the black Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> and Ricky, Ricky get in the crib, got to get in the closet, whatever he need, got it. He's somebody little cousin. Boom. Long story short, Ricky get 700. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Vicky got 700, we was, it was no looking back. It was loyalty though, like, you know what I understand? I trust my niggas, I, I, I hold my niggas, like, I make sure my niggas got bitches, money, everything they need, like, that's not grimy. Yeah. Grimy is be with everybody else, cause these niggas not like us. Yeah. They don't got no, no story. So you basically saying, I, it was a lie. They saying it's ten percent. They saying ten percent loyal, ninety percent grimy. But you saying it's not grimy because you looked out for your man. You gave them, mo you helped them get money, whatever the case they need. But I, no, 
I show them that. And I show my love for my big bros. You feel me? You gotta take care of your, your, your little bros. Like, yeah, that's an effect. That's the worst nigga I ever met. You feel me? Like, our niggas to take care of everybody to their sneakers, to what they make a week. It's like a job with the shit ball. Yeah. And, and I try to do that with my niggas, even though I can't employ everybody. I just want everybody to feel me when I'm around. You feel me? Yeah. Got you. So, 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 what does the the ten ninety represent? Like, what, what, it, it, so that because it's like I bet it's funny because it's like I gotta be standing in front of you. Like, if we stand there and you try to give me a pound with the left and throw it by G, it's the way ten ninety do it. Like, they lock. Yeah. Because we throw the G down. So if you by G throwing up ten ninety. I mean, you throwing up IG with a nigga and a nigga tonight, he gonna lock it. So if you lock with him, you pussy, bro. Like, niggas, be, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, that's like a nigga throwing up your gang with you and then throwing it down. Got you. Get Got it? You. Yeah. He throwing it down with you, though. Yeah. Because he holding your hand, you feel me? So... Mm. That's why niggas started saying it was like that. But I was only like that to a nigga that was awesome. I ain't know y'all. Yeah. So okay. Like, if I don't know you, and it's like, I don't know, like, I don't even know what you was in jail for. Like, nothing. Like, I don't know you. So, like, yeah. I wasn't really dragging you. It was different when I came up. I had to go to your side. Yeah. They had to feel me on your side. They ain't feel you on my side. Yeah. So, like, and then you address me as if you me. You the big such and such, but I never heard of you. Yeah. But, but, <laughs> but, but, <laughs> now, what I'm saying though, like, where does that numbers come from? The 10% loyal, 90% grammy, like, where does that? That's, 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 I guess that's what you say. That's the, that's the sound. That's the icy. Okay. So, like, that's basic. That's. Of course, I always pay homage. Like I said, they always say I was the old out of the bunch. You feel me? Whoa. Got you. Okay. Perez and Nikki, Perez and Nikki is from the head. That's more on the sick side. Whoa, like. Okay. Now, now for you, at this point, are you actually beefing with YGs at that point? Or are you just kind of like, I ain't. It's, it's hard because it'd be funny situations. And it's like, it's funny we could talk about it because nobody got hurt or no shit like that. But yeah. it'd be like, you know what I'm saying? I wanna, I come home and Toast got a thousand little niggas running around. She's Blicky, that was the baby. Then gutter, 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 man, that's my heart. But yeah, okay, Shana, that's my baby, but, but that's Harlem. You feel me? Once I went to Harlem, the boss was different. Oh, Harlem is, Harlem saved my life. But, oh. Blicky, Blicky ended up getting knocked, so it become toast, cause Shay's in jail, he doing three years, so it's like, everybody running around tagging the nose is fucking with toast, with toast is, man. <laughs> Come on, that was Bush, that was Bush, little man. I know toast since we was kids. He just, he, he went a whole nother path, man. Well, I'll leave that at that. He went a whole nother path. Okay. Okay, but but um, so so basically, you saying like from, it, you did have a little bit of issues with some of them, but not all. I right, look, imagine whatever you go get guys somewhere, whatever you run into somebody, man, mad energy, mad. You know what I'm saying? Nigga pop, popping out wild pressure, but he's jacking a set, you know? Yeah. Listen, listen to me. Who you what? Hey, who you was okay? Like, like nah, I'm that's a dub. Ain't no deal on that. You all like, mm. and it's like you, they look at you like you dead Grammy. But no, y'all, I don't know these kids. I don't know niggas. You understand? And if they say they got it from Perez or Matthews, like, come on, what's wrong with y'all? Okay, okay, got you, got you. Now, now, you know, I'm. I, I can, you right now, you're ape now, right? Huh? Are, are you ape now? Right. Okay. So, 
was that something you decided to do or was it like they it kind of felt like because i know yo, yo dead ass yo dead ass nigga never signed up for nothing that happened like i swear to god i ain't never signed up for the g's that's some shit that happened i ain't never signed up for none of that shit it just happened bro. okay like, now i love it but <laughs> well it's like Got you. So, it so, is what it is. It's, it's how it turns out. Cause everybody look at it like you say, you know. Okay. The grimy, you understand? But it was never. It was never like right now. I see one of the nodes, nigga, come near, nigga. You my baby, nigga. I got you. I treat you like you one of mine. Okay. That's it. You understand? Like. Don't get it twisted, it's still the nose, it's, 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 oh, the nose, check it, train, maybe smoker, they outside, it's, it's always love, you feel me? I just be feeling like everything is itself now. Got you, see, I'm see. this, that's what's that, that's still mine. Those my babies, nigga, whatever they say, I'm saying, nigga. Yeah. See, that's, that's my question. My question is, do you even identify yourself as... 10 nine, no, you know what I mean? Because if, if you ice if you ice one of mine right like, now, they gonna say I'm the brand new eight. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so hold on, just like I right. I was interviewing somebody, um he's he's Don't go no further than that, brother. Got you, got you. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, um, um, basically he was just saying, uh, what he was saying, he was saying, basically, you can't be nano and something else. Nowadays, every block, every building is a gang, right? Hmm. You got, like, people from different hoods, they, they jack a gang that's from their hood. For me, it's just what it is. Now, when them people read them blocks, they not on them blocks no more, but they can't say they not from there, you feel me? So you still go jack the game, you feel me? Now, like my situation, everybody know I'm not no okay. I come to jail. We really want to talk about my case, but allegedly I'm here for somebody that was supposed to be allegedly hey, you feel me? So even though I was in the town and I was this, I'm being charged for this. I come to jail, I still don't jack it, you know what I'm saying? Not like, you know, disrespectful way, I'm just still on my time. I feel like I gotta handle what I gotta handle from the town before I try to do that, you feel me? And I waited two years. Oh, I waited two years. Every spot, my classification put me in lavish cribs on the island, so I was around all of them. And I was that, and it's like, at the ride, like, you start feeling bad, like, not feeling bad, but it's like, all right, shit going on. You got to pick a side, you did, and if I'm there, I don't matter what you are, you feel me? So it's like, that shit just, it, it was inevitable, whoa, it was inevitable, uh -huh. but... Like, like, like I said, as far as like somebody being both, like, it's too, it's, it's, it's a different time. It's a different time. You feel me? So like, everything started from something and turned to something else. You feel me? Like, you say eight, eight was something. It's, some, it's a part of something else too. You understand? Like, everything, you know what I'm saying? It's just how it be. Now, I feel like if somebody was to tell me that, though, like, yo, you got to pick or something, you feel me? Now you just coming for me. So that's fuck all that. You all, you ain't had to do that to do that. You all, like, yeah. I, I never had that problem. Like, you feel me? Like, I feel like they could feel the energy as far as what type of time I'm on. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You can't name a nigga I ever snuck like one of my niggas that I did some creep shit to. Name a bitch I fucked out with my man, bitch. Name a, a, a situation where I got my man lined or anything like that. You could never say that on my name. So, yeah. it's alright. Got you. Got you. Do the, are the nine cool with it or are they going to have to jack what you jacking? So I, 
No, it's not. It's not it's like what they got a jack. Ain't no today a new day. Nobody can say. <laughs> Everybody go jack what you jacking, bro. They can be on their own time, bro. Like, but at the end of the day, it's certain family. Niggas got family ties to certain shit. I don't care what a nigga jacking. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's family than a family. Like, I can't watch not have the tour. Okay. Gotcha. And if, if you fuck with me, then you not gonna want to take it there neither. You feel me? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I'm in the spot, now nah, I know there's somebody or... Anybody showing them any type of energy, because they that, is like you doing that purposely, because you know I'm here, you feel me? So, what's just going on, you know? Like, <laughs> nah, we don't have those problems, you know? Like, whoa. Got you, got you. At this point, not even to sound disrespectful, like, does, is it, if you're, you done took a different path, is, is the nah no even, what it was in the past. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Gotta go crazy. Hey, you say that you crazy. Okay. Oh, gotta got nine no, no, man. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, that's it. At least that's it, bro. Bet, bet. <laughs> bet. So, earlier, you know, we talking about how everything started. Does any part of you wish you was able to speak to the guys? Like, like guys like, um, um, Paul. Okay. Me feet. Rest in peace. I wish I could speak to me. I was so fucking mad at him before I got knocked. Whoa, that's my brother. I love him. I just want to tell him I love him. Yeah. Oh, Tato. Got you. Got you. I know you said you couldn't you couldn't respect um certain things that happened, but Poe was telling me he would want to speak to you. Would you be open to that? Oh. Tell him. Tell him I said this. Yo, Paul, we've been through a lot of shit together. If I grew up to say my father was out, Paul, how would you look at me, bro? Real shit, how would you look at me? If I grew up and I told you after everything we done seen together, I was out, Paul's son. How would you look at me? But, but he said he the other guy, he grew up thinking that was his father. But then, I honestly, honestly, I I ain't know this ain't the movie show, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know this. I know this. I one day we was all in in a Chinese restaurant, all right. This word to my son. We on we in, we in a Chinese restaurant. Say we gotta change our names because our names hot. It's forty days on my head. Yeah. So my name will be Brad Snuggles. Cause they sound there, niggas with brass knuckles. All right, call me that. Take that, the boom. The Mirage nigga name gonna be Swiss, cause he look like Swiss Beats. Yeah. All right. Young Jeff there, we can't call him now. No, that's Jeff to his left. He get movie roll dice to his left. You know that. All right. That's Jeff to his left. Yeah. So he look like Al Paul. Mm. Take a step. I know somebody told me that before. Say, hold on, take your hat off. Nigga took his hat off. Say, nah, we gonna call you Young Poe. I swear to God, next time I saw this nigga, he went to my uncle. He just came home during 16 years. Let's be spitty. He gave nigga a tattoo on his neck. Say, Young Poe, you all. I said, oh, bro. You huh. running with this? This is shit now? You done changed it like three times, bro. Yeah. Like, nah, this is it, bro. I'm like, I bet. Young Pope. Now, after we going through whatever we going through, I end up being on the run. Gangsta, nigga, that nigga, I'm living with him. I'm in the crib with Pope. Like, all my clothes, everything was in Pope, bro. We lived together. I lived with him. Like, bro, his mom opened the door, so I'm saying, I know you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, long story short, we ain't get to stay on his side for long. That ain't last too long. So we started going out there. It was only four buildings in the whole project. We didn't see cool. It's only four buildings, bro. Bring 17, 20 niggas to the project. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We ain't get to stay over there for long. So now, basically, pull the run. I'm on the run. We in Harlem. 
Now I used to go to all of them on the L. That's my brother. I go to all of them on the L. Now he got better. You know, that's, you know, that's, we in Harlem. Paul used to go to all of them. He used to go to his grandmom's place. That's where his father lived. Got you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we go see the man, nutcrackers and all that. Man, back of this shit, the pool and all that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So now they get locked up. And it's like, one day they, they give us a assignment in school. We I mean, on the island. It's like, write a story or some shit that happened about your life that you remember or some shit. And this nigga wrote the Sunday story. So we reading this shit, it's like, yo, Randy Hall, he talking the sunny shit. That's when they cut sunny single off, rich poor the shit, bro. Okay. Sound these niggas. Paul, you got all your fingers, bro. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about, bro? Yo, bro, yo, bro, you wildin', bro. Nah, you got to be dead eyed. He's like, yo, his balls, toes, and shit. I'm like, yo, bro. I'm not checking that. You know, I'm going to blame that on her. Like, I know her. You are like, you're not going to do that, you are. Yeah. Bro. Gotcha. So we thinking it's going to be some shit. We just going through on the island. He's saying this shit. Now we come home. We took my niggas running around. Like, come oh, on, bro. That nigga got a son of a... Everybody know who that man's son. You know what I'm saying? All of them. And you jacking this shit. You from the bro. You was our nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What you doing, nigga? Yeah. Damn. Alright. Um, Got you. Yeah. 